Welcome back to the 2017 Tour of Utah Preview Show. If the Snowbird stage is for the climbers, then the Salt Lake stage is for the sprinters. We caught up with some cyclists who are thrilled to finish the race downtown once more. These are the types of efforts where you finish and you taste blood in your throat. You've gone so hard up this little hill. Yeah, that, that Salt Lake circuit race is, uh, is relentless. It's really brutal. Um, a lot of times the final stage at a stage race, uh, if it's a circuit, is more of a formality. You can sort of parade around and it's a fast sprint at the end. But um, as we've seen in Tour of Utah, there's no easy stages and that Salt Lake circuit really you know, fits right in there. It's a demanding circuit race um, with more climbing than we're used to you know, in a final stage. Uh, circuit race and uh, yeah I think it'll leave it open you know anything can happen and I think with the BMC racing team uh, we'll have a good good squad of guys um, you know likely that kind of race is one where maybe a, a sort of fast punchy climber could uh, you know sprint for the win and we've got a few of those. If they make the finish line like they did in the years before on top of the, the little kicker it can change them because up there it's you need to punch it's Six, uh, set, yeah, six days of racing in the legs, people are tired, and it's about positioning. It's a different kind of race, and it's interesting to have a new, yeah, a new finish, a new, new way of, of racing. That's usually a pretty hard stage, I think. Um, I mean, every time that we've had a circuit in Salt Lake City, it's been pretty hard. Um, and they've been, you know, sort of sprint finishes, group finishes, but um, not always for a pure sprinter like me. So. Yeah, I think that's a great time for some of our stronger guys to shine and see how they do out of a small group. I mean, we've had success there in the past and we'll try again. Yeah, so the final stage of Utah this year is the downtown Salt Lake circuit race. And uh, I've done this uh, circuit a few times in the past and it really does kind of favor me. It's, it's kind of just a hard circuit, nothing like long climbs, but just short, punchy climbs, which I really do like. So. I'm really looking forward to that stage. Um, I've kind of mapped that one out um, and kind of have that one to target. Lachlan Morton taking the yellow jersey back, winning the 2016 Larry H. Miller Tour of Utah. And I was waiting for that smile, and it's all over his face right now, shaking his head in disbelief. I mean, it was really awesome. We went there at to the Tour of Utah in 2016 with a singular goal, uh, just for Lachlan for the overall. And we executed, and the team rode super well. Lachlan obviously rode really well. Staff was great. Everything just kind of came together, and we had a super good week. And it was, it was really amazing to be part of that. Yeah, well, I mean, that's really the essence of this team. You know, Lachlan's, uh, you know, world-class talent to be able to work for him be at the front of the race of a race like Utah, you know, where, you know, Jelly Belly, you know, we're not expected to win the Tour of Utah. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a special experience to be able to, you know, defend that race and uh, kind of race as, you know, professionals, you know, on this team. Well, it helped that we had the best rider. We didn't really win it for him, we just didn't lose it for him. I mean, he, we gave him every opportunity to, to show he was the best. And he wasn't set back because of us, and that was really our job, is just to allow him the opportunity to show he's the best. That concludes our preview show. Join us on FS2, where live coverage begins Monday, July 31st at noon Mountain Time.